Dumps it out right. Watch out, he's got space. He's looking for a burst of speed. That's a touchdown. Eric Decker catches that one for a 66-yard score. Prater adds the extra point, and we're all tied up. Matt Prater looks ready to kick it away. Sanders stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the one. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Vaughn was there for the stop. They'll set up shop at the 24-yard line. It's first and 10. Passes out to the left. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. Yeah, nice call and a well-timed blitz. They disguised it well. I don't think the quarterback saw it pre-snap and it forced him into an incompletion. Von Miller was there to bring him down. Gets about four on the play. Third down, they need six for first down. Ball on their own 47. Loads up, looking to his right. Sanders was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. The Steelers lining up to punt. He'll field it at the 17. Christopher Carter was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 18-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. McGahee takes it left. The Broncos have had very little success running the ball so far, but that time they were able to create a little push and get some decent yardage. He's brought down right around the 30-yard line by Taylor. And we'll have a first down and 10. So the ball on their own 30. McGahee gets the ball. Jukes away. And he will be tackled. So they'll face a second and 10. So the ball on their own 30. Draw play. Lamar Woodley was there to bring him down. Six-yard pickup. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Number 15 with the pitch. He didn't get back to the line. The Broncos are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far. They need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it, boy, it is tough to throw the football. Brown will take it at the 21. He's brought down at the 28-yard line. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. There's the deep throw! Breaks away, and he's still running! A good job there by the quarterback to fit that ball in there with good coverage. Yeah, and the defensive back didn't really do anything wrong there. The quarterback just made a good throw. We'll see if he starts to play him a bit more aggressively, maybe initiate some contact and get that receiver out of his comfort zone going forward. Going up towards the end zone! It's broken up by the defender. Wallace was his intended target. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Second. 
Surveys the field. Going deep. He's got it. Touchdown. Jericho Kachuri brought that pass in for a 25-yard score. Extra point is good. Sean Schwiesel is ready to kick this one off. Royal is back to receive the kick. The stop was made by Derek Williams. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. First down and 10. Here's a pass over the middle. Yeah, I don't know if the ball slipped out of his hand or what, but that one really wasn't that close for a professional quarterback. From their own 24-yard line. He's going to run for it, and he's got a row. Who says quarterbacks aren't athletes? He looked pretty good on that play. Nice job, found the hole, got upfield, got down without getting injured. Good play. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. They're in a rush, so no huddle here. Looking, fires it to the left. There he goes! Sprinter speed! Touchdown, Broncos! He just ran away from everybody there. There are plenty of players with speed on this defense, but he made all those guys look slow. Crater tacks on the extra point. is just about ready to kick this one away. Sanders is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He makes it to the 22. Moore was there for the stop. The Steelers ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. Looking for a man. Let's it go deep. The pass is broken up. What a play. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. And looking right, he lets it go at the 30 to the 20. It's always kind of funny to think about with all the big guys that play the game of football, sometimes it's the little wide receivers that scare you the most. He's searching for a receiver. Touchdown, Steelers. There aren't too many better options than that guy when you're talking about throwing one in the end zone. Some of the best hands in all of football. Sean Schwiesel drills the PAT, and now it's a seven-point game. Sean Schwiesel gets ready to kick it away. Royal stands back to field the kick. The Broncos got the ball into the end zone on their last possession. And the tackle was made by number 29. Decides to run. He finds a lane. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from it. He's dragged down on the play, but they'll only lose about a yard on the play. Nice play, but anytime there's a sack, there has to be a number of key things happening, and that time it all came together. And there's the flag, and we're going to have our first penalty. Coaches get upset enough when you make a physical mistake on the field. But when you make that kind of a mental mistake on third down, coaches go nuts. Loose ball. Denver will maintain possession. 
The coach can't be happy with him after that fumble. Priority number one has to be hanging on to the ball, right, Chris? Yeah, I guess it's so true. No team wants to give their opponent the chance to get a takeaway on a fumble, and I'm sure the coach will have a few choice words for him. You can bet the next time he touches that ball, he's going to be hanging on tight. They hand it off. The stop was made by Aaron Smith. Sure doesn't look like he's running with the same explosiveness that we usually see out of him. Yeah, and I think that that fumble he had earlier has changed his approach. You can see him really trying to cover up the ball more, and you can't run like that in the NFL. Gives it to the back. Breaking through up the gut. We played a half of football, and our 